Automatic Bar Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number 11, Shaving. As an operator of a New Britain automatic bar machine, you must be able to set up and adjust a shave tool attachment. This television training tape will show you how to complete this task. This is shaving. The purpose of shaving is to achieve greater dimensional accuracy and improve surface finish. Shaving will normally follow a form tool since the basic shape will not be changed by shaving. The normal amount of stock removed by shaving varies between 7 and 15 thousandths of an inch. First, a form tool removes most of the material to shape the piece. Then the shave tool finishes the process. This is the shaving tool fixture and block. The shaving tool in this fixture is similar to a forming tool. A major difference between the shaving tool and the forming tool is the rake angle. The shaving tool has a zero degree rake angle. It is mounted in a dovetail slot and is set flush with the face of the holder. When the shaving tool is properly positioned, the cutting edge is directly under the center of this roller. Notice that there are three positions in which the roller can be set. To change the roller position, you must remove this nut. The shape of the part being shaved will determine which position should be used. The roller must be set so that it will ride on the largest diameter of the part being shaved. Positioning the roller vertically is done with this adjusting screw. When the roller is in the correct position, it is locked into place by tightening this nut. This tang on the back of the fixture is used to adjust the rotation of the tool with respect to the part. By turning these two screws, you can cause a small amount of rotation to the tang. This rotation allows you to square the shaving tool to the workpiece. This locking screw locks the tang in position. Final adjustments must be made after the shaving fixture is mounted on the tool slide. Setting the depth of cut for the shaving fixture is the first step in the setup procedure. The distance from the roller to the cutting edge should be the same as the diameter of the finished part. This is set by measuring from the top of the shaving tool to the bottom of the roller. A block gauge may be used. Once the proper diameter is set, lock the roller. Then check the measurement to be sure that it did not change. Insert the shave tool holder into the block mounted to the cross slide. Be sure to mount the tool holder so that the bolts are facing away from the spindle. Back the tool holder all the way back to avoid jamming the tool into the part when hand cranking the machine. Hand crank the machine to put the stock feed roller on the start of the feed portion of the feed cam. Slide the block so that the shaving tool is aligned with the workpiece. You may have to repeat this adjustment of the cutting tool several times before it will align with the workpiece. To check your adjustment, you will need to go to the other side of the machine. The shave tool is advanced with this adjusting screw to touch the workpiece. Lock down the tool holder, then cut apart and check its dimensions. When properly positioned, the roller will pull the shaving tool into the workpiece as it moves forward. To shave properly, the shave tool will pass beyond the center line of the part. 
Since the shave tool is passing beyond the center line of the part, it will not be necessary to have any positive stop tension on the cross slide that is shaving. A common problem is to have parts that are oversized on one end and undersized on the other, which is known as taper. Unlock the tang clamping screws. Use the Allen screws on the tang to correct this. If taper still occurs, check the shave tool for proper grind. Thus completes your television training tape. You may watch this tape as many times as you need. When you have finished, return to the operator booklet for the next step.